Hey guys, so I've been trying to get caught up on my Baby Boy album for quite some time now. Um, it's currently April and I'm just about finished with February. But I've been wanting to film um, my progress so far. So I thought I'd do a little flip through with you. Um, the album that I'm using is a Becky Higgins um, Project Life 6x8 um, I had to find it online. I got it cheap because it's bubbled, but I decided to just, you know, live with that. Um, it's gray. Uh, the camera doesn't show exactly true color, but um, my daughter's is a mint one, and I wanted them to be kind of correlating but different. So, anyways, so this is, this is his uh, book so far. So, I really like having like different layers and elements and interactiveness and um, I'm always looking for new ways to do different textures and everything um, in them but at the same time I don't want it to get too bulky because with my daughters I still working on getting her first year done and it's already getting too thick um, and I can't get a, the same album to like do two two of them and have them match so anyways I'm trying to like balance that so we start off um, this one is a double because I knew that I wanted to have some flips and like I did a lot of planning um, I, I didn't have a nursery while I was pregnant with him to nest in so my nesting was actually like planning out pages and layouts and stuff um, and then hoping that I would just end up getting the pictures to put in them, which for the most part I did. So, um, yeah, so we have here first. He was due February 22nd was his original due date. Um, and then here we have two flips. So we have, if you hear squeaking, it's because he's sleeping next to me and he squeaks in his sleep. So we have the nine week, um, which was the first ultrasound and then some journaling. And then 13 weeks and then a flip up with some journaling and I made this card out of paper sticker and a stamp um, I knew I wanted these to have flips for journaling because um, I didn't necessarily want the long journaling to be out as part of the main book I wanted to like save space but I wanted to talk about his first ultrasound because he was just such a happy little wiggly dancing bean that I ever saw and I've seen you know, lots of ultrasound pictures and all this stuff. And usually they're this calm little, kind of more like he looks here. Just this little, like, bean that doesn't move and you can barely tell it's a baby. But his little arms and legs were just, like, going to town. Unfortunately, the picture didn't capture his legs. But in, like, the view, oh my goodness. And then this one, I needed to journal because it wasn't a planned ultrasound. I went in for a checkup and they couldn't find his heartbeat. So I thought I should journal about that. Um, then over here is 18 weeks when we found out that he was a boy. And so here I have a card for his name and I wanted to have journaling about that. So that's a pull out interactive with journaling in there um, explaining he was named after both of my grandfathers. You'll notice um, stars being a theme throughout. Um, for him I've I've kind of leaned towards stars and clouds, and stars have been a lot easier to find than clouds, but I'm sure clouds will come into play later on. And then here, um, we call him Liam for short, so there's that with his 28 weeks. And then there's one other ultrasound that I just haven't gotten scanned in and printed yet, so I still need to do that. Um, and then this was something new. I really wanted to have a transparency of a calendar. And this was such a hassle because my printer, I guess, can't print on transparencies. I'm not sure the trick for that. So I had printed it and it wasn't drying. And two days later, it still wasn't dry. So I ended up tracing over the printout with a Sharpie. And then um, for to get the ink to like stay and not scratch off and all this stuff, I ended up laminating it. So it's thicker than I had wanted. And then it had to get cut here because there was a bubble in the, from the lamination and... I mean, it's, it's not terrible, it's just not how I had envisioned it, it was kind of a hassle, but anyway, so I have, he was born on the 6th of February, so I have a little heart there, 
and then some of these pictures aren't in order but they're all grouped together so this is our very first family photo and I kept contemplating putting something embellishment wise on this but I just I don't know I liked it by itself and then this is the photo that they took of him in the hospital and I just put this sticker banner on top um, I'm playing around with putting stickers on top of the plastic more um, which I seem to have trouble getting it to stick I decided to try super glue and hopefully by tomorrow night they'll be apparently stuck but I don't know so this page here I had um was one of the ones I had laid out like I already had these papers here I knew I had the boy spelled out like I knew where I wanted photos to go and what kind of pictures I was hoping to get um, I knew I wanted this to be a shaker pocket and this already had the star the only thing with this is I ended up deciding because I ended up printing black and white photos so when I went to finish the page I decided to add some gunmetal and silver stars to this mix which just made it too full I liked it better when it was just a few and then because of that I guess I decided to add just a few shakers in with this star and I wish I'd left it just just the star but I'd already sealed it there wasn't really anything I could do except for go through the hassle of opening it sealing it again and having a bunch of extra lines so um, yeah so there's that and then the other side um, he <laughs> happened to be born the day before winter storm Liam hit which we thought was kind of funny that we were calling him Liam and that's the name of the storm this one took me quite some time to finish I had these pictures on here for a while I originally planned on his this this picture going there but I think part of it was the colors ended up not being the right or something I don't know um, but I had already done this side and so I needed something here. So I put these pictures there. They were there for weeks. And just now tonight, I finally finished it. And I think I actually like how it came out. So these are just a couple pictures that I took um, when he was like a week old. Because he hadn't, we, his newborn session kept getting pushed out because the photographer's children were sick. Um, so we couldn't go get his pictures taken. So I t tried to take just some stuff at home. So I had documented that size, you know. And then this picture I liked of him at one week and I liked it all simple and plain and just put some stars on it and we'll see if those will hold finally and then I really enjoyed making this one a lot like this was really fun for me to make I really wanted to have different size elements so this one was um, for Valentine's Day there's some wood veneers that I colored red along with heart glitter and then his first Valentine picture and him and his sister and then this I have a stamp and then I so I stamped it and then I cut it in half um, to split up there then the other side I don't love as much but I still really want those pictures to go in and obviously the shaker pocket was here so this is kind of odd to me that I heart you but it's it's fine I don't mind it um, but yeah this was one of the most fun things that I've worked on in a while and then I I've seen other people do um, like a double page spread of the same photo and I really really wanted to do that but I couldn't get it the sizing to fit correctly so it ended up being like this size I really wanted to put a quote over here like this is one of my favorite pictures from his newborn session she just loves her brother so much and so I did I put this quote on but then I needed something to fit here so I ended up just kind of doing this picture um, I'm not in love with this aspect of it seeing here I really wanted to put like a lace ribbon trim or something just to cover the rest of her face because that's a little distracting to me but I keep forgetting to pick some up so I'm not sure what I'll do there if you have any suggestions feel free to leave them um, one problem with this is when I do pictures like this not in a transparent in a pocket thing I like to laminate them but I accidentally bought the wrong photo paper so this is like super thick photo paper and it's double layered and then laminated so the lamination doesn't hold very well and it's a lot thicker than I want to take up in the book but nothing I can do about that now and then put this one on the back and this one is not quite finished because I need to print out a picture one of his newborn pictures to put here but this heart is all fuzzy so I wanted that to be there and then I did this with my silhouette program before printing it out 
and then I'm not sure what I'm doing here yet so this isn't quite finished for the end of February but this is the last part of February he had his first bath time with mommy um, and then just some pictures this was from an attempt of me taking his newborn pictures that didn't really go very well but I want him to have a picture with the stuffed dog um, from my grandpa who he was named for so first time being worn out at the park and then this one of him screaming his shirt says I rule the night and that makes me laugh and then that one's just cute anyways so then we're getting ready to start March and I think I'm going to try for the rest of the month I'm trying to come up with little things to be cohesive per month I don't know if that'll last or not but I thought it'd be cool to start each month with a picture of him and I so that I can kind of see him grow that way I did something similar with my daughter um, and I was struggling with how to put this in because I didn't, I didn't want it to be on the same page as his like one month old page and that's going to be like the first page because it's the first week of, of the month is when that happens. And so, um, I wanted to attach it to this transparency that says 24 seven. Um, so I ended up stapling it. I'm not like in love with it, but I don't hate it either. And I'm not sure what I'm putting on the back of it yet, but you know, it's there waiting for me to start the month of March. So yeah, that is my baby boy album through the month of February. I hope you enjoy it. This is just like a random, I had a sticky back from a star and I put glitter on it and I might do more of them going through here or I might do all sorts of size and textures of stars or I might just leave it there as a random thing because it's not coming off, it's stuck for good. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a wonderful evening.